dependent on a true story, the story of Travis Walton, played by D.B. Sweeney, who in Arizona in 1975 was returning with his co-workers from a hard day's logging and woodcutting when a strange and fearful light was seen in the sky. Ignoring his companion's warning, Walton went to investigate, and before you could say, beam me up, Scotty, he was sucked into an alien spaceship, a UFO, no less. Yes, he was. All his friends said so, and so did Walton, when five days later he was found naked and gibbering in a phone box. In the interim, however, said friends, led by Robert Patrick and a saturnine Craig Sheffer, were suspected not least by a properly sceptical sheriff, James Garner, of murdering him. You expect me to believe that a flying saucer came down and took your friend away to outer space. That's the truth, mister. That's exactly what happened. Is it? Is it? According to your story, you never even went back to the clearing, so you don't know, do you? I didn't have to go back. Mike Rogers says he wasn't there. You can take it to the bank. And you know that, Blake. Why the heck aren't you speaking up for us? Why letting this man talk to us like this? David, I will. It seems like you're not even trying to believe us. We all saw the thing. We all saw the guy get zapped. You saw something. At least you thought you did. Ever since then, Walton and the other eyewitnesses have steadfastly stuck by their story and taken polygraph tests which suggest they're telling the truth. Odd, isn't it? Why is it that in every story of abduction by aliens, the victim is always a woodcutter or someone equally humble? You'd think that if these aliens really wanted to find out about life on Earth and the general state of the human condition, they'd snatch the likes of President Clinton or John Major or, oh, I don't know, though, come to think of it, they'd probably get quite as much sense from a woodcutter. But in fact, to judge from one harrowing and well-executed sequence that recreates his time in the bowels of the UFO, these fetus-like creatures, life, Jim, but not as we know it, didn't seem to want anything at all from Walton except to subject him to a particularly nasty physical examination. That sequence apart, the best that can be said of the film, based on Walton's book and directed by Robert Lieberman, is that it does appear to take its improbable tale seriously. Whether you take it seriously is, of course, up to you, but it is, I can assure you, an absolutely true story. And I know it's true because Elvis told me so when I saw him on the bus last week. <laughs>